The most chaotic and cluttered spot in our homes are linen closets. I have some practical and useful tips on how you can maximize your closet space and keep it organized. This is our guest bathroom. I will have a link down below in case you want to see a tour. And inside this bathroom, we have a nice sized closet. It's narrow, deep, but it has so much potential for storing those little extras we all accumulate. So I want to share some easy ways to organize your linen closets. First, take advantage of your vertical space. Use the inside of your linen closet door. And that's exactly what I did. This is the Closet Made Shelf Track. It's a multi-purpose wire basket accessory that attaches directly to a shelf track. It's easy to install and all you need is wall anchors and a few screws. And again, the baskets are designed to attach to a shelf track standard. To add the basket at any preferred height, plus they also have hooks for hanging items as well. You're not limited to nickel finish. I chose that because it's my preferred choice. The organizers also come in white as well. This closet made shelf track has allowed me to personalize my items without taking up any shelf space. There's a place for my iron, starch, house sprays, linen sprays, extra lotion, and even body wash. On the hook, I have my tabletop ironing board and lint brush. Now I don't have to worry about my guests seeing my linen closet. Target has really stepped up their game with organizing accessories. I came across these storage bins by Threshold, two in a pack for $9.99. Perfect for organizing flat sheets, fitted sheets, pillowcases, bath towels. Everything has a place and it limits you to putting too much of one thing in one bin. Next to the storage bins, I keep seasonal blankets like my heating blankets and matelasses, which is like a quilt to keep you warmer in the winter. Also next to the bins on the second shelf are disposable hand towels and paper towels. I like to keep that stocked up so I don't have to run up and down the stairs. It's such a time saver to do so. I stock up all at once. You may have seen me use this closet made deep sliding basket before in my master bedroom linen closet and I'll have that link down below in case you want to see it. This is such a great addition to existing wire shelving. You just snap it on and you have a drawer. I have been using this for several years and I'm sorry to say it's not available, but you can check out their website for something similar. And next to the sliding basket is toilet paper. 16 rolls can fit into this rustic wire basket. I got it from Marshalls for $12.99. I shared how I got this closet made drawer kit with wire baskets from the flea market for $10. It had two parts. I simply separated the two, use one half for my baking station, and I will have a link down below on how I kept it organized. Because KitchenAid mixes weigh a ton, I leave it on top of the cart and wheel it out of my pantry when I need to use it. Inside the baskets, it's all set up with all of my baking essentials, and so far this has been working out really great for me. The other half I'm using to store a lot of my linen closet essentials all in one spot, and it's taken up hardly any space. In the same area where I found the storage bins, I also came across this stackable three drawer organizer slide out drawer for $50. These slide out drawers are great for storing fabrics and crafts. I'm using mine to store a few items I use often. Let's take a peek inside. At the Dollar Tree, they have sweater storage bags, two in one pack. It's not the best quality, but it will do for what I'm using them for. I'm placing guest bed sheets inside them to keep them fresh. I typically do not keep sheets on our guest beds. I wash them, I press them, and then I place fabric softener sheets inside the bag. This way when I know guests are coming, that's one less chore to do. 
I Cannot Live Without My Labeler. This one is by Brother. It's the PTH100 and labeling items just makes it easier for me and everyone else to find things. Inside the top drawer is where I keep guest sheets. And as you can see, they are ready to go when I need them. In the second drawer, I'll keep extra tub mats and shower curtain liners I got from the Dollar Tree. Shower curtain liners are so hard to keep clean. I don't even bother. I just replace them for a dollar. It's worth it. The third drawer are some cleaning cloths from the Dollar Tree, along with trash bags and cleaning supplies. Like I said before, this closet is very deep and I can store a lot of things, but keeping it simple is key to staying organized. I'm so using a command hook to keep my steamer mop in the corner. Beside the slider baskets, I repurpose this hanging rack to hang my duster, cleaning gloves, this mini vac, and it's easy to get to and it's out of the way. So I hope you guys can use some of these tips and ideas for your linen closet. It has certainly done the job for me. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Be My Guest with Denise, and you can also sign up for email alerts on my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com. I share tips and ideas and inspiration, so feel free to follow me, and I want to thank you all for watching.